The South Yorkshire and Bassett Law Perfect Patient Pathway NHS Testbed is one of seven national testbeds, which see the NHS working with private sector innovators. A number of projects are underway in South Yorkshire. One of these is the Care Tracks programme for people with asthma, which sees the testbed working in collaboration with Teva Pharmaceuticals. There is a major opportunity for people with asthma, healthcare professionals and the NHS to use data from connected devices over the coming decade to improve asthma outcomes in the UK. So the aim of this programme is really about better self-management for patients with asthma. Um, but it's more than that in that it's about testing technology in a real world environment where we've never tested it before. It is about working collaboratively with the public and private sector. It's about staff working differently and with different members of the team. And overall, it is about a better patient outcomes, which is the most important thing from this. So the Care Tracks programme is a collaborative programme which we're starting in primary care in GP practices and in fact we've had a, a brilliant response from GP practices which is, is absolutely great, we're off to a great start. The GP practices invite patients to come in, obviously who've been diagnosed with asthma, they come in, they're assessed, they get a sensor that's put onto their inhaler and they're supported in that clinic, in that environment by a Teva nurse. Um, what's also really great because this is it's not just about the technology, it's about then helping people change and manage their condition more effectively. So what the patients have as part of this six month journey, this sort of six month um, programme that we provide for them, is access to online support, tools, materials, but also what's unique is that we have a call centre as well that can provide support, guidance, keep people on the, the right track with managing their condition. Uh, I was invited to come into my local doctor's. Uh, they gave me two little um, devices to put on the end of my asthma inhalers and connected them both up to my phone so that I get notifications um, at certain times of the day to remember to take my inhalers and it also records um, when I take certain ones and therefore if it becomes an issue they can contact me. I now remember to use my uh, brown inhaler, inhaler a lot more than I did before whereas I would go like years without using my brown inhaler because I just forget and not deem it important but now it just reminds me to use it twice a day every day and just keep on the actual uh, program. Before I came on the program I was using my blue inhaler every single time I was going to do sport just to give me the relief and make sure I can make it through without having an asthma attack or being short of breath. Uh, since I've actually been on this program I have not used my blue inhaler at all and I still continue to do the same level of sport just without any issues. Before I came on the program I was scared to go out and even play football at the local field without taking my blue inhaler with me and making sure that I had, at, like, had it with me and was ready to use it on site. Throughout the trial um, I've been contacted three or four times by the Care Tracks um, uh, staff just to make sure that everything was going well and that I was confident in how I was using it, that I was getting the best out of the trial and made sure that I was using it correctly. Um, they were always helpful and I've been more, ha more than happy to be part of this trial and I uh, haven't felt a, a burden at all. Um, I was due um, asthma review and my doctor sort of suggested that it would be something that, though the programme would be something that I could use um, more efficiently than just using my inhalers as they are and so it would just sort of sign me up there and then. Before I was on the programme I was using my blue inhaler as a brown inhaler, um, sort of taking it when I felt a symptom. Um, I didn't really take my brown inhaler properly at all and now I do it the other way around, sort of take my brown inhaler every day as I'm supposed to and the blue inhaler as and when. Well I get a little notification at the time, um, so I've got mine set at 10 o'clock in the morning, 10 o'clock at night. So I get a little notification come up on my phone, you've got to take your inhaler now, don't forget, sort of thing. And then um, I also, like the sensors have got little green lights on them. So when, when it knows you're supposed to be taking them, it will tell you, it will, like, flashes up at you and you can't really ignore a green light flashing at you all the time. So, Well, generally I feel a lot more uh, confident in myself. Like I find it a lot less daunting, a task to sort of go out walking and things. Before I was a lot more self-conscious about appearing breathless, appearing um, out of breath all the time, but um, now I just sort of, it's I'm like a normal person really, rather than 
being a wheezy mess in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Primary care and secondary care are extremely busy places and we're only going to get more busy um, and therefore it's really important that uh, patients can take as much responsibility as possible for their health uh, and any device um, or measure that can improve that um, will be useful for both patients and for the NHS. I'm hoping that the device and the programme will be very beneficial for our patients. Um, the patients so far um, have been really keen to try new technology uh, and are very keen to um, improve their use of inhalers through any means possible. If this technology can improve their compliance then hopefully their disease control will be improved as well and, and therefore uh, their quality of life um, should be improved as well. I, I would hope that in the long term it would be really useful, particularly at annual asthma reviews, to, to be able to use the data about a patient's compliance with their preventer inhalers and their use of reliever inhalers to help make informed decisions uh, about their treatment going forward. Uh, I would also hope that it could be used on an ad hoc basis at times of exacerbation, um, again to help with treatment decisions. At the moment this is a fairly new device and the technology is is new and being trialled. Um, there is a potential, if it's used wrongly, that this will just increase the primary care paperwork uh, and, and increase patient contacts. But I think if used sensibly and effectively, um, hopefully it would uh, reduce patient contacts and improve quality of care.